Once again, the best laid plans can be scuttled at a moment's notice. We were booked for Supernormal tonight, but that Supernormal's closed, as are apparently about six restaurants tonight because of COVID. As Omicron spreads, so does its impact. Unfortunately, we have had to cancel the remainder of this afternoon's performance. An unwelcome message halfway through today's show after a Moulin Rouge cast member tested positive. Frozen has cancelled performances as well. We are as Victorians facing another really challenging wave in Omicron, but we are well positioned to do so. Despite the spread, those still able to keep their New Year's Eve plans can be confident they won't be caught up at an exposure site. Under Victoria's new contact rules, patrons at venues like pubs and restaurants will still have to check in, but will no longer have to test and isolate if there's a positive case at the venue. It's a plus and minus. You sort of like to know whether you've been around someone infected, but then you don't want to isolate uh, when, um, when you don't have to. We've been locked up for two weeks for nothing, or we thought nothing, so yeah, no, I agree with it. People will only receive a text if they've attended a high-risk setting, potentially a busy nightclub or major event. You won't be getting ping, if you like, anywhere near the same level, but that is not uh, an invitation to not monitor for symptoms. Other changes to the contact rules mean only people with symptoms or positive rapid test results now need to get PCR tests. Asymptomatic close contacts can have rapid tests, but with a shortage of those and more than six testing sites closed today due to the current heat wave, the system remains under pressure. We're going to have to get through a bumpy weekend because of the hot weather. I think this will settle down over the days ahead. Also easing the strain, the first of 34 million rapid antigen tests purchased by the government are expected to come online in the coming days. The free tests will be directed to priority industries such as healthcare as well as at-risk communities. It needs to be made easy for people who are on the margins, who don't speak English, who have low literacy, who might not have a Medicare card that's um, valid. And they, it needs to be made affordable and access for these groups because we know that these are the groups that suffer from COVID-19 most. As we wait to ring in yet another year of living with COVID. Happy New Year! Jessica Longbottom, ABC News, Melbourne.